In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear faithful, today I am going to talk about the living water. The Gospel reading says that on the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out and he said, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. Here we see that God invites all of us to drink of him as a living water. We may want to drink the living water, but we don't know how. Now let us see how we can drink the living water. First of all, we can drink the living water by thanking our Lord. We can do that very easily. Every morning, every evening, or throughout the day. Jesus has done so much for us through his death and resurrection. And we know that he loves us and he cares for all of us. That's why he should be thanked at all times. Secondly, we can drink the living water by confessing our sins before God and trying to minimize them. I know that we cannot be perfect, but at least we can try to be like Jesus. Third, we can drink the living water by doing God-pleasing works. For example, helping the poor and needy people, trying to be nice to each other, trying to forgive those who have hurt us. And of course, loving people around us. And finally, most of all, we can drink the living water by making Jesus and his kingdom a priority of our lives. One day, a little boy was sent to bed by his father. And in a few minutes, he called his father. He said, Dad, I want water. And his father replied, he said, the lights are out and your chance is over. And then in five minutes, this little boy again called his father. He said, Dad, I need water. His father replied, no. And when the third time this little boy called his father, his father said, if you call me one more time, I'm going to come and snap you. The little boy replied, he said, Father, when you come to snap me, just bring a cup of water with you. Dear faithful, here we see that this little but smart boy made every effort to quench his physical thirst. I hope that we all can make every effort to quench our spiritual thirst with the living water, with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you all.